what I've been doing this week on Classic Game Room is absolutely nothing. The film itself is completed. It's about 110 minutes long. It's been pretty cool making this because I have been going back to all of the original tapes to make the Classic Game Room film. Check it out here. We have the original studio footage of some of your favorite Classic Game Room episodes. These are wires. And this one in particular, it's like when you go to a brewery, you visit a brewery, and they show you the pipe that all the water comes out of that they eventually turn into beer. Well, this right here is the pipe that the water, or the original Game Room episodes, come out of and go into the editing system, which turns them into the completed finished film, or beer. Very important wire. You know, Berserk is the gift that keeps on giving with high-intensity Atari action. Uh, I'm sitting on the film for a week. I'm not doing any editing. I'm not doing any tweaking. After a week, I come back. I watch it. It's sort of like watching it again for the first time. And then I make my final editing decisions based on that, just to get a sort of a fresh, fresh look on it. You need, you need to spend some time away from your film, especially when I'm watching myself for that long. I need to get away from myself. All the original classic game room reviews were from the actual systems themselves. You know, different game systems had different controllers, and that often made a difference in how the game was played. Well, here's the deal. You are a prisoner on an alien planet that is made up of mazes. Although it doesn't say what crime you've committed to be a prisoner. The crime is being human. Along with the original classic game room footage, I also shot a good deal of new footage for the documentary. These are some outtakes from what I like to call the sad reminiscence scene about the cancellation of the game room. This is a good game in that you're able to shoot everything that moves. Yeah, there aren't any like of those stupid civilians that pop out of nowhere are like, oh, heavy, heavy, <laughs> bang, you're dead! Now, like most Atari 2600 games, it starts off slowly and then picks up speed as you get to the higher levels. You suck! Had to scour through every one of our 80 Game Room episodes to find what I thought were the best episodes for the first film and to represent the, the show itself, the reviews, and also the rise and fall of the classic Game Room. So it's been a pretty neat process in all of this. Seaman sucks. He does suck. Bitch! You're welcome. Now, although you kids today may think this game looks simple, it actually requires a great deal of strategy. You have to know your weapon, you have to know how to use the maze in self-defense, and the limitations of your robot enemies. I rock in the 2600 chambers of Atari. What you guys need to do is click that fifth star on the right many times. Please unplug me, I want to die.